Hello everyone and welcome. This here is a video, full video on my fruit and ice toppers and my sublimation tumblers that I do in a convection oven. This here is the resin that I use. Um, I ordered the resin and the UV lamp both together from Amazon. It was about $40 for the lamp and the resin. This here is the ice chips that I use for my tumblers. They were ordered off Amazon as well. That big bag that you just saw actually has two big bags that came with it. Um, you can find those if you search fake crushed ice. These are the lemon slices that I use. Again, Amazon, the lime slices, everything came from Amazon. And here are the cherries. This here is the UV lamp that I purchased. You can purchase any UV lamp. Um, doesn't have to be very expensive. So my limes, I take them and I cut them in half. As you see here, there's a little bitty hole that is on every lemon and lime slice. So when I cut mine in half, I try to cut right there where that hole is at. Some people put theirs on whole, personal preference. I just like mine cut in half with the whole lemon slice. So sometimes when you cut these, because of the plastic material, um, part of it can crack, might not be able to be used. I might be able to salvage this piece. Um, I'm not sure. I'll just have to see when I do my next tumbler. But the way that I put mine on, you don't really see the corner edges of either lime. So I'll still be able to use it. As long as it doesn't crack in half, you should be okay. Here is the lemon, again with that same hole. So I just take my resin and put it there on the spot of the lemon where the hole is at. It doesn't take a lot. And you just want to stick it there on the top and then bring your lamp on top of it. Um, you can put it under there for about 20 seconds, 30. It's up to you has a 60 second option, but 60 seconds isn't necessary just to get it to start to cure. It hardens pretty fast. So then I am ready to put my lime on. As you can see, the lemon's not going anywhere. So I'm ready to put my lime on. I just cut those ex excess scraggle pieces off. I don't know. And I kind of just play around with it, see how I want to position it because my lime does not go all the way inside of the lid as the lemon does. It kind of, um, I kind of like place it on the edge of the lid and also attach it to the lemon. So I put resin on both ends. And once you have it in place where you are satisfied with it, just bring your lamp on top of it and just place it over it like so. Um, if you try to slide it under the lamp, then you risk possibly your lime shifting out of spot that you want it to stay in. So just bring it over until it hardens a bit and then you can throw it under there for a few more seconds. Oh, 
okay so you can see the lime is pretty good in in place so for the ice chips there's really no rhyme or reason with the first few pieces just kind of put your resin all over the lid and just throw them into place um, because of the way they are made they have different red ridges and angles and so you can kind of like you know squeeze them into certain spots and still make them fit after you get like the first three to four pieces on there then you might want to just go ahead and throw it up under the lamp let those few pieces harden and then you'll just continue to build up your ice topper to your liking once i get those first five or six pieces on as i continue to build up then it becomes necessary for me to just put resin on each individual piece and place it where i want it to go you probably could also just like the first layer throw a few on top uh, drizzle some resin on top of those and kind of slide it under the lamp and make those stay into place but I personally prefer to just place mine one by one and I am doing this voiceover outside so please excuse any um, lawnmowers or any noise that you may hear so here is my cherry once I get it to the spot that I'm satisfied with it I just put the resin on the bottom of it Put it into place and bring the lamp on top of it and let that harden and then you just continue to build around your fruit Some people do these ice toppers with um, a hot glue gun. I've never tried that method. When I did my first mm, two to three toppers, I used E6000 glue. It was pretty quick to do it with the E6000 glue. Still, it was done in about 15 to 20 minutes. But when it was all dried, you know, a couple days later, the ice chips didn't seem to still have the same shine to me that they had prior to the glue being put on them. Um, they sort of, sort of looked kind of cloudy to me, so I decided to try the resin method, and I absolutely love it. There's not any odor that I notice with it. Um, I do work with the epoxy as well, and. I tried epoxy with one of my lids and it just didn't work out because the epoxy obviously doesn't dry as fast as this resin um, so as I'm trying to place my pieces on there they were just constantly sliding and shifting so I realized at that point the epoxy method was not for me I think with this topper I may have used maybe just a tad more ice than I normally do um, actually after I was finished putting the ice on and I moved on to make the actual tumbler I still came back at the end and added a few more pieces of ice just to make it a bit more um, full I see some where the ice is just like kind of completely hanging all off the side of the top and that's fine some people like more ice some people like less ice so it's just basically your personal preference as you're making it and whatever your customer requests the customers that I've had that requested a nice topper did not state whether they wanted a little bit of ice or a lot of ice they just seen my previous toppers that I've posted and they just said that they wanted it so you will see at the end of this video what the topper looked like after I added the additional pieces.
again I apologize for the noise that's outside with someone being in their um, yard doing work so once I have all my pieces kind of around um, the top then I just go around the sides I always try to cover up that outer edge of my lime the ice chips are kind of all shaped the same but Sometimes when I just can't get one to cooperate, I'll pick up another and have to manipulate that a few times in order to get it to fit. But then I usually always will get a, a good fit, even though the ice chips all look like they're made the same. I don't know what difference picking up one from the other makes, but it works. So again, when you just want to hold one in a particular spot and not risk it moving just bring the lamp over towards your topper and put it up above it rather than trying to slide the topper underneath the lamp all right so I always add a couple of pieces here on the side of my lemon as well I usually take two pieces and put them there just to see how I'll get them to fit. And once I get a good fit, then I'll put them down, put the resin on one, let that one harden, and then I'll go back to the other piece and manipulate it back into the place that I want it, and then add the resin there. Okay, so this is what the ice topper looks like finished or so I thought um, again as I stated I did go back in and add a couple of more pieces so here I'm just putting a little bit of resin kind of all over and I'm gonna put it under the lamp for two minutes to fully cure all of the other times I threw it under the lamp it was under there for maybe 10-15 seconds which still was enough time for it to harden and with each time that I put it under there I'm assuming that it just only got harder, but you know, just for final sake, make sure that it stays in place. I just put a little bit of resin on top of the whole thing, kind of drizzled in between the cracks and put it under there for um, two minutes. All right, so here is the image that I'm going to be putting on the tumbler. It is a Stella Rosa file. And I just take my X-Acto knife and just trim away the excess paper. I print my images 9.35 um, width by 8.2 height. Your tumblers may vary in size, so it's always recommended that you measure your tumblers before just going with someone else's measurements. And so I just take alcohol and I wipe down all of my tumblers before I apply my image just to remove any dirt, oils, fingerprints, um, anything that might be on your tumbler when you lay your image on there um, might inhibit your transfer from going onto your cup as it should. So I just always shake off my paper just to make sure there's no lint or dirt or specks or glitter or anything on my paper as well and so I just kind of like roll it around a few times and make sure that the image is nice and flat on the cup and then I just take a few pieces of this heat resistant tape I purchased it from Amazon came two in a pack it is one inch if you search um, high temp polyester heat tape you should find it 
So I just get those few pieces along the seam and I take my nail and kind of go up the seam and tape that down. And then I take an additional piece of tape and just kind of like overlap that first three pieces. Again, take my nail and go up and down the seam to kind of close that in. Once I get my seam taped up, and then the direction that my paper had folded, I take the heat tape and I place it on the cup and wrap it around that direction. And then I just take the top and fold it in. That top can sometimes um, kind of like lift back up as it's baking, but I usually never have any issues with ghosting up top, but I still try my best to close it down inside of the cup. Sometimes you can take an extra piece of tape and tape down the inside. I usually don't because, again, the amount that it lifts up usually isn't enough to cause ghosting for me. You repeat the process at the bottom. Go in the direction that the paper is folded and just um, get that around the bottom pretty tight. You can start to have wrinkles at the bottom of your paper, which is fine. You just take your thumbs and press those wrinkles out. Here's a kind of good one that I just take my nail, kind of press out, and just continue to um, tuck that tape there. Usually this is all I do with my tumblers. Sometimes if I feel the bottom might give me issues because of those wrinkles, then I'll take another piece of heat tape and do the same thing. I don't put it directly on top of the first piece. I kind of overlap a little bit. And then again, just take your thumbs and press all of those wrinkles out as much as you can and close down that tape. Once I get the bottom sealed up, I just take two small pieces of tape and kind of go over that bottom piece just to keep that from lifting so that I don't potentially get any ghosting at the bottom. Ready for the oven. So my thermometer says 350, although my oven says 450. That's why it's recommended that you have an oven thermometer in your oven to see exactly what temperature you're actually cooking at. I bake my cups for 350 degrees per my oven thermometer for five minutes and I rotate the cups every minute and 30 seconds. I lay my tumblers down. Um, my oven will fit a 30 ounce tumbler laying down as well. My 20 ounce tumblers can stand in my oven but they are very close to the heating element and I just prefer not to stand them up. I don't mind rotating them every minute and a half. Some people, when they open their oven to rotate, they say that their temperature drops quite a bit. The oven is only open for literally a second. Reach your arm in, turn the cup, and close it. So I never really have any issues with my temperature dropping. I pretty much stay consistent around 350 the whole five minutes that my cup is baking. So again, we are still at 350. I've rotated the cup, I think, twice at this point. I will rotate it again around the 30 second mark. And when I'm rotating, I'm just only going about a fourth of a turn, not like a full 90 degrees or a full 180 degree rotation, just a fourth of a rotation every minute and a half. Okay, I believe that was the final turn. So the next time I open the oven, the cup should be coming out and we'll see the design. Okay, so here is the tumbler. Um, as you can see, my seam did not open up 
Um, that's why it's best to overlap it and tape that seam down very well. My overlap, my overlap, mm, maybe like an eighth of an inch. I'm not really sure, but it's not a whole lot of overlap, but it's enough to where it doesn't separate. And so the tape usually comes off pretty easily. Usually one quick motion will get it off, but these couple of little pieces here wanted to give me a hard time. And usually the bottom just comes right off, which that kind of wanted to give me a little bit of a hard time as well. But still came off pretty easily once I got a hold of it. So here is the image on the tumbler, and here is no image on the paper. It's crafting besties paper. Tumbler is still really hot, so make sure you're using heat gloves. Um, they were purchased from Amazon as well. And this here is where my seam is at. I just try to line up uh, that bottom design and the top design as, as well as I can. The seam isn't extremely visible on this cup. It really depends on your design, whether you will have a seam or not. Some designs are seamless, and if they're not, then you will have a slight seam. This here is the ice topper that I just made. And here I'm still thinking that it's not enough, and maybe I should add a couple more pieces, which, like I stated, I did add more pieces at the end. So that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see. And stay tuned for pictures of the topper and the cup at the end of this video. Thank you.